wonderful people. I hope you're having a great day. It is a bit windy, a bit overcast, and the rain keeps on coming in and out, but it's still a beautiful day as always here. Dogs are very vocal today. And uh, I've had some wonderful, wonderful comments on some of our recent videos from all of you. And there's some really interesting questions in there. I'm going to answer a few of those questions and show you an abandoned cottage which is actually on our grounds. The question which came up quite a lot is what's that? So I'm going to show you. And to show you, we're going to go up these overgrown higgledy piggledy stairs. Okay. That roof there is the back of the chateau's original bread oven. I cut a little path the other day. That's what it is. This is the original caretaker gardener's cottage. So if you haven't already seen it, do check out our video about the hidden tunnels here. And there's a little link to it coming up there. In that video, I explained about talking to the original caretaker of this property. And uh, he was telling me some of the history of the stuff and some of that turned out to be true and very interesting. This is actually where he lived. This is one of the tunnels I showed you last time, which we obviously use a storage and know is there directly underneath the gardener's cottage. So the real question is, do those ones which are blocked up somehow get back to the chateau? There are loads of theories from all of you wonderful people leaving comments. And I just thought I'd explain that a little bit more. As I said, that cottage up there, and that has those tunnels and cellars right there. And the ones that are bricked up are right there. So. What do you think? It was obviously some time ago he lived here and it hasn't been particularly well looked after since, but it is quite cute. I've managed to kill ivy and stuff on this to try to stop it being overgrown. Now, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Yeah. It's definitely a long time since someone was living in this, isn't it? Yeah. As we can see, the thing is properly abandoned. I mean, these are bits of the chimney coming in here. And... Yeah. Yeah, I feel like being down a mine shaft. You can actually see at the top there, there are bricks stone missing which is what's here and that's of course the ivy you can see the ivy growing all around there this most of this is now dead here i managed to kill huge amounts of this and i will gently pick it out of the structure and, but i'm being a bit careful because i actually think that half that's being held together by that ivy i just don't want it to grow any bigger which is a shame because mostly the structure is pretty good on this. Well, you can see it. So the questions that came up, apart from what is this, a few people worked out what it was and said, why don't you do it up for a little jeet or get, you know, um, uh, volunteers to stay in, that sort of thing. And then there were lots of questions regarding the other buildings you could see in the drone footage. And the two questions come hand in hand. This you can't do up because these barns are the next door neighbors and they are right beside this and he keeps sheep in it. So the sound and the smell just makes it not worth doing this little place up. We'll obviously save the structure, but it won't ever end up being a home again, sadly. And obviously that next door neighbor, that was uh, the original stable block to the chateau, which was built in exactly the same style as the chateau in a U shape with a mansard roof. Beautiful, beautiful coach house. So stable block coach house, it really is pretty. And when this place was split up 
by the asset stripper, that is another part of um, uh, the estate which didn't go with the house, which is, again, a real shame. Something I would quite like back, but I don't know the neighbours really want to sell it, nor do I know I could afford it. So I'll deal with what I have for the moment. But yes, it was part of the original estate um, and it's very similar style to the Chateau. And no, it's not ours anymore. Now, let's, I'm going to explore this cottage a bit better. Ladder up to where horror movies are filmed, I think. Nothing good ever happened in a dodgy, dark attic. But I want to have a look. I'm keep the camera on because something terrible happens to me now. There might be a recording of it for future generations. <laughs> Yeah. To be honest, it's in really good condition, all things considered. Oh, there's a little window. As I'm here on my own, because Angela has had to rush back to the UK on another emergency, I'm not going to go climbing around in the attic, which uh, where I could fall and hurt myself and be left here for days on end injured. Safety first. You will all be telling me off if I didn't do so. Now is the part where I ask you all questions. What on earth do we do with this? Aren't these beautiful? Look at these. So pretty. So many of them. So this is the view we're up on that wall in the back garden and we're looking down towards the chateau. It's a lovely little place and we do need to put a proper greenhouse up here. This is quite quick to deal with and it's not going to take long to just cut this lot back. And we've obviously got those beautiful flowers over there. But what do we actually do with this space? It's wonderful to say, hey, little kitchen garden, but the building. What do we do with the building? You at home viewing think we should do with that little cottage. I've got a couple of ideas. You've obviously got a little veg patch up there and there are a couple of uh, planters, which obviously need planting this year. We haven't got round to that and some cutting back, but could that be a nice place to put a little barbecue area, uh, a private area for us that's uh, nothing to do with the rest of the chateau or would that be a waste? I don't want to waste that building. I want to save it, but I also don't know what to do with it. So I'm just asking everyone at home watching, what if you lived here, would you do with that little building? Because it's such a waste. Please do let us know in the comments. If you haven't seen the video about the tunnels, please do click the link and have a look. And then you might have some suggestions regarding those joining tunnels. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel and you want to follow what we're doing, please do click subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.